There are so many arguments people give. No, no, Swamiji, this reality and that is dream. If you have any arguments, please come up. We will analyze. Because after analyzing the argument, we will go into the deeper level. One argument people always give me. Swamiji, when I get up from the uh, dream state, I always see the same world, same me, back, same house, same wife, same wife, <laughs> 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 same car, <laughs> same, everything is same. But in the dream, it is not like that. Every day when I enter into the dream, it is different, it is different, it is different. How can you say that is dream and this is? How can you say both are one and the same? Now you need to have a little bit of attention. Understand a little deeply. The very idea of time itself is a concept. It's a mental con concept. In the dream, for example, you, you dream only eight hours. But you dream as if you lived on full life. Sometimes you take birth and you walk, you live, you finish. Finally, you end up your life. You end your life. 30 years of span, 30 year lifespan, you finish it in one, eight hours. The whole dream itself is just an eight hour, but you live even for 30, 40 years. The dream, the state has got a different time. The very idea of time itself is your mental concept. If you understand, then you will be able to understand. This whole life, 70 years, what you call, is one batch, one set of dreams. And that dream life, which you call one day dream, that itself is one full life. If you see, if you understand that, you will be able to understand, every life is one night dream for us. One night, one dream is one life for us. In that dream, you are dreaming. The very concept of time itself is just a concept. It's one dimension of your dream. Any of you can't, if you can't understand, please raise your hand. I want you. Mm. Let me explain. In the dream, you dream as if you are born, you are growing. You take up a job or you do your routine, you leave all these things, finally, you die. Actually, when you get up, you will understand you dreamt only for eight hours. But in the dream, you live almost a life. So many days, so many years are lived just in one eight hour. When you live in the dream, you don't think it is only eight hour. You live and you feel actually as if you are living 10 years or 5 years or 7 years or so many days. Only now you measure with this scale, I dreamt only 8 hours. Understand? This whole life is one night for you. This whole life itself is one dream for you. You come out, again you start dreaming next. When you come out of this dream, you understand, Are, what is this? Seven, I felt as if I had dreamt for 70 years, but only it was 7 minutes. That is why we say for Devatas, one year in our life is one day for Devatas. If you have lived 70 years, when if you wake up, you will understand you dreamt only 70 days. <coughs> The very thought, the very time itself is a concept. That's why in the Vedas, we always say, Chana. Chana is not a second. Please understand. Chana is not a second. Chana means, 
the time gap between one thought and the other thought. For example, if you are sitting with a person whom you really love and enjoy, you will see so many hours have passed. Suddenly you will realize, oh, five, six hours passed. How did I spend? So many hours flying. You will suddenly realize the time is just flying. And if you sit with a person who just continuously <laughs> tortures you and who continuously troubles you, you know even 10 minutes will not move. Even 10 minutes will not move. You will be again and again seeing the watch. Time is more psychological, not chronological. That is why in the East we measure the time based on Shana. Gap between one thought and the other thought. In the dream state, chronologically you live 8 years. But psychologically you live the same amount of life you lived in dream. 30 years or 40 years. In the waking world, the waking state, because you have a chronological scale, you can measure the dream state. You have no chronological scale. That is the reason you are not able to measure. But the one more thing, in the dream state, if you fall into lesser level of dream, in the dream state also sometimes you dream. You can even feel, I'm, you will have an idea, a slight idea, I am dreaming. Again you will fall into dream. If that idea, I am dreaming, if it becomes strong, you will come out of the dream. If it is not, if it doesn't become strong, then you will fall into the dream again. The moment, if you are just having a small idea and dreaming and again fall into the dream, you will have the same dream. Same dream. Only if you wake up and go into the dream, you will have a different dream. Same way, if you wake up from this state and come back again, you will have a different body. That is what is your death. If you wake up from this conscious and come back to the same dream state, the same this waking state, you will have different body, different mind, different life. Let me explain. I will give you a small table. That will give you a little more clarity. Any other question? Yes. This has happened in the past. It doesn't happen anymore with me. I know. Little loud. Yeah, this has happened in the past, this experience. It doesn't happen anymore. Maybe five years back was the last time it happened. I sleep and I'm dreaming. And I feel I'm looking at me, sleeping and dreaming. And once I realize that I'm doing that, I struggle. It's almost as if somebody is trying to suffocate me. And then I wake up. This has happened in the past. How do you explain that? Please be seated. Now let the board come. I will explain to you in which portion the struggle happens and all those things. Yes. Uh, there are different answers to the dreaming depending who are you reading about. And uh, I would like to hear your version. Is there any, why do you dream? Is it because you want to solve your own problems or psychologically or it's trying to tell you something? Is there a truth to it? Uh, there are two levels of dreams. Which I, one level is vision, another one level is imagination. First, understand, dreams are nothing but uh, fulfilling your suppression. If you have suppressed some desire or some fear, only these two you suppress. Desire or fear. If you have suppressed some desire or fear, you just fulfill it. You fulfill in the dream state. That is the first level of dreams. The second level of dreams, you get some intuition from the superconscious level, higher level. Some higher level things. How to differentiate between these two? 
that is the technique when you get up from the dream try to remember the dream if it is in four color be very clear it is a vision if it is in two color be very clear it is imagination because always when you dream your senses are very dull your senses are very dull you cannot see in four colors if you are seeing in four colors you see when i say four color after waking up from the dream just try to recollect the dream you are able to recognize any color you are able to remember anything with color if it is a vision you will have a vivid impact on you will have a vivid remembrance vivid memory it will have a vivid impact on you people come and tell me swami ji i came you came in my darshan you came in my dream you gave me darshan i tell them no try to recollect did you see this color did you see the color difference they say no swami ji i didn't see the color difference then forget about it it is just your imagination if it is me or if it is any divine vision or if it is any intuition from inside not only me even if your being is very solid your own being can guide you you will have the dream of yourself and which will be telling you do this do that even that can happen but remember are you seeing it in color if you are able to remember the color within 21 hours after 21 hours even you cannot remember the color after 21 hours generally we forget the dreams very rarely like this what she said this type of experience only we remember otherwise we forget within 21 hours if you can remember recollect the color clearly be very clear it is a vision it has got some message for you if you are not able to remember the color if you are just feeling the black and white then be very clear it is just a dream there is no need to worry about it i want to know another thing so when you say about color right uh, it kind of surprised me because when i relate my dreams to my family and my friends i can tell them the sound what was spoken what was the smell and they think that i'm just joking because they say how can you remember this but if you are saying it's a vision yes i have dreamt of my father and my father is moving but when i dream i know exactly the color of shirt he is wearing i know the occasion it was some festive occasion i could smell the homa ghee mm. that was happening mm. he was sitting there you know pouring ghee into that i could see him mm. and i also knew that while that was happening none of my family members could see him mm. i was also aware of that in my dream so how do you explain that so naturally it is a vision there is some message for you in it there is no more mm. that's what no, even if, if a person is no more you can see him are there people who do not dream at all at night yes enlightened people don't dream okay. no, at my least son always says i huh? never dream my son says so i will no no no, no. Right. your son very see <laughs> he is studying in berkeley but Where? Uh, in berkeley yes yeah. either he must have been enlightened okay. or <laughs> he must be like no he must be forgetting okay that's uh-huh. only two things otherwise it is not possible <laughs> huh? <laughs> now we will enter into the main syllabus the basic understanding about these three levels of bodies i think if you all can copy in this table it will be really wonderful if you can write down you will be able to understand much better me but remember we call the dream is it good or is it and it means there's no value just it's like see actually look and understand it's like a safety valve if the steam pressure becomes too much in the steam boiler there is a safety valve which automatically opens and releases the extra pressure dreams are nothing but safety valves valves the moment it becomes too much it automatically opens and releases yes so they teach in ayurveda they teach that um, 
it, dreams are influenced by Vata, Pitta, and Kapha, whether you remember them or The whole body is Vata and Pitta Kama. Yeah. That, but, but that if you're a Kapha person, you usually always remember your dreams. But if you're a Vata person, you No, no, nothing like that. Mm, there is no that type of intricate. You see, sometimes even if you are a person with kapha, you can remember the dreams. Or even if you are a person with vada, you can remember the dreams. Sometimes even if you are a if you are a person with vada or kapha, you will forget the dreams. You will not be able to remember. It is the depth of the desire. Of course, the, that is one important thing. The depth, depth of the desire changes the vada or pitta. That is true. It is another way around. Yes. I think this might be happening to a uh, lot of people, but sometimes uh, when you're in a situation like when you go to a party, suddenly I realize that, oh, this happened before. And, and I exactly know in the next five minutes who's going to come in the new guest as a guest. And at, at least I will remember some things. And what is that? How many of you experienced this in your life? Huh? Please raise the hands, let us count and see the percentage. Uh, one minute, can you repeat the same thing? Please. Sometimes uh, uh, when you are in a situation, like for example, you just went to a party and you realize that suddenly, oh, this party has happened in, in my life in the past. but. I don't know whether it's a dream, and I exactly know for the next five minutes or ten minutes that this is going to happen. Someone is going to come with his kid or with his wife. Probably he is going to give his big gift. I don't know. Suddenly I remember like five minutes thing, and that's it. I know that this has happened in the past. I don't know what it is. Whether I have seen this in the dream, or I don't know what it is. Yes. How many of you experienced this at least once in your life? Raise your hands. Uh, Show sure, count. 42, o over 50 percent. Who have not experienced, please raise your hands. That is better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only 25, so my count first time was wrong. So. <laughs> One thing, whomsoever has experienced, understand you are having a tremendous intelligence and visualization capacity. Understand. It is not that other people have not understood, that 25 people also had, but they have forgotten. 